Okay, we're back. For real, hopefully. Hopefully I won't have a fourth false start here. Yep. <laughs> but it's time for the Coliseum. Hopefully. Do I think it's going to go any better? Probably not. I'm rooting for you. Let's see. Yeah! Like, the problem that I'm hitting with this specific one mm. is that it has never actually been me that's failed. It's been some outside thing. Yeah. Like, the controller dies, or someone's at the door, or... the game or stutters, or... The game stutters really bad. Yeah. And with how long it is, it just gets frustrating when it's something late in the late in the sequence. Maybe this is just a cursed round. It's it's like the last one, so it's hard. But it's not actually hard, it's just it makes you like your computer starts acting up. It's programmed to make your shit act up. Exactly. It's like they looked at Eternal Darkness and decided to kick it up a notch. You know, I never really got super into Eternal Darkness. I didn't get too far in it just because I get kind of wimpy about horror games, but I liked it conceptually. Eternal Darkness wasn't even like a horror game. It was for me. <laughs> so what you're saying is we should not play Resident Evil 4? Was that when the Resident Evil games were still a lot more horror-focused instead of survival-focused? Um... Because I know that, like, the later the later the series went on, the more it kind of focused on the survival aspect. Four is probably the last one that's sort of horror. Mm. I mean, not like the, I've seen bits of the later ones. Not like they don't have any horror, but you can definitely tell it's more focused on like the action part of things and the resource management kind of stuff for ammunition and whatnot. Ah, uh, they're all sort of supposed to be. Uh, resource driven like that's supposed to be yeah. what makes them like suspenseful is that you do not have oh, as okay. much ammo as you as you need though 4 was kind of the exception when I played 4 I never felt like I was lacking for or, you know wanting for ammo <laughs> hmm. you know I might actually be up for it if I'm not the one actually playing I mean I've played 4 before so Maybe the somewhere. remake um the, re the remake, I've seen parts of the remake, and it looks really nice. I mean, the thing for sure is that would have to be, like, post-processor upgrade. Yeah, no, absolutely. I was going to, um... Now... I was going to actually see about spending my tax return on, you know, a new motherboard and processor, but I mm. kind of enjoy just not worrying about money. It is nice. Would you fuck off? That was garbage. Yeah, keep dancing. But yeah, that advice you gave me for for mine when I was going to use it towards a computer, that was it was definitely the right choice because that was a big load off my mind. The 50/50. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, like... I've been in this situation where, because, like, work hours have been what they are, and yeah, yeah. everything, it's like, I make enough that I can pay off my student loans and put just a little bit into savings, like, a, like $15 into savings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although, hey, $15 is $15. Yeah. Um... I actually let myself order out somewhat expensively last night. Like, not oh, nice. breaking the bank, but, uh... Just, like, special day kind of thing? Uh, like I said, like, I, I was having the really bad, um, choice paralysis on food, and... Mm. What I actually did was I just went, alright, I'm gonna just... The first thing that pops up in the browser is what I'm gonna get. <laughs> what was it? Olive Garden. Oh, nice. Olive Garden's not terribly... Like, it's it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but... 
you uh, you get a pretty decent amount of food. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, every so Ghost. often when I'm feeling in that mood, I'll order from Cheesecake Factory, which is the same thing. It's it's spendy, but you get a lot for your money there. Would you come down here? <laughs> but if he does that, he'll get killed. He's already dead. That's yeah, true. Ah! Really? Stay away from the ghost so I can heal. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's not fair. They really shouldn't have let the phase transition happen there if there's anything still alive. Okay. Yep. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Uh Okay. Now it's the boss. Yep. Now it is the centipedes. I jump there, that's like counterintuitive. Ah! There we go. Here comes spikes. The airborne sector that I have, sector for section that I have to do completely in the air. And I try and compensate for by just being hyper aggro. <laughs> I think what you're doing of keeping as much height as possible is also good, because pogoing is probably the safest way to be hyper aggro here. Oh yeah, for sure. Ooh. What? Again! Your controller again? Yeah. Ugh. Why is... Ugh. This is very interesting. Oh! Full heal! <laughs> nice. Can I 
get him full heal. And then immediately lost one. <laughs> I mean, that's what the health is there for. <sighs> oh, this fucking Coliseum, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like it. Uh-oh. This has so gotta long. be the boss. This has gotta be the boss. Yep. Please just die, please die, please die. Nice. <laughs> so now you own the Coliseum, right? Yes. Oh good, I got the full achievement. <laughs> I think all that gave me was a bunch of money. Yeah? Seems like... Well, I mean, if you killed the tamer, I guess that means no more Coliseum for them. I just realized we never fought that one guy. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of happy about that. Hmm. I didn't want to kill him. Well, now I gotta figure out what we're doing. <laughs> Because that was the only lead that I had. What happens if you talk to the Coliseum guy now? Now that it's all done. Uh, I mean, we can redo them. Welcome back. A true fool keeps on fighting, even when there's no oh, okay. more glory to be gained. Step over to the board and make your mark. Show us how foolish you truly are. Yeah, you just keep fighting. Like, apparently this is a good way to farm money. Ah. I don't think I'd want to keep redoing that last one, though. That last one's no. a pain. I can see the first, first one, though. The first one wasn't too bad. No, the first ones weren't that bad. The first one was fine, longer than it should have been. The second one was like, yeah, all right. They were all longer than they should have been, really. Yeah, kind of. Like, and they also needed to decide if they wanted it to be a phased battle or waves of fighting. Not this mm. doing both. Yeah, both was kind of obnoxious. Yeah. You see, you don't need the elevator to go down. Well, Clever. I guess that's one you kind of do. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Ow. Fuck you. I mean, you did need it in order to move it out of the way. Uh, no, I could have jumped out the back. Oh, yeah, okay. I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do have the friend map. Do we want an episode dedicated to finding friends, though? I'm just saying that's at least something that we could do. Alright, well, cue Final Fantasy VI Dark World Overlord, Overworld theme. <laughs> do you, do you, do you no, it's, it? It, 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 it was the Falcon's theme. I mean, it's the same. It's both. No, the Overworld theme was that, like, really, that really sorrowful one. Okay, but that only lasts until you get the Falcon, and after that, the Falcon's theme becomes the main world theme. Oh, it does? You I never need to replay six. Oh, come on. 
Yeah, after you get the Falcon, um, the Overworld theme is replaced. Okay, okay. Because it's supposed to it's supposed to symbolize the return of hope at that point. That makes sense. And yeah, it does sound familiar now that you talk about it. I mean, it's been a whole two or three years since I last replayed through 6. Why aren't we playing 6 right now? <laughs> uh, because we really had to get through that Coliseum. We kind of did. Where am I? Do I not have the pin? I don't think uh, I have the pin equipped I right think now. you took it off to prep for the Coliseum. I, I think you're right. I think I took it off for the Coliseum. Yeah. Uh, alright, so we are... I know where we are. Okay. Okay. Hey! <laughs> hey! <gasps> Fuck you. I think he's hiding. He wasn't. Was was that active before? Was... See that? Oh! In the back? I don't remember. Interesting, either way. Ow. That's right. Did that already? Oh, that might be something, too. I think we've got enough essence to go to the moth again. I don't think we do. Oh, okay. Six seventy-seven. I think the next one's seven fifty. Ah, okay. So, okay, we are not where I hoped to be. So we will have to. Okay. Ah, was not watching. So I've been playing um, City of lately. Mm -hmm. Got back into it for a little bit, partially because there's not a lot else to do right now. <laughs> the off season for a lot of things. Yep, yep. I don't know if I had ever mentioned this, but did you know that in the uh, lore of City of Heroes, Rhode Island was discovered by the Romans? I did not know that. Rhode Island, specifically. Only Rhode Island. Yes. They never went outside the modern borders of Rhode Island. Correct. Where they're like big walls. No, by the time they found oh, you, it... You might want to change your badges while we're here. Yeah. To, to what? The map thing. The map thing. The one that shows you where you are on the map? While you're here? Yeah, I just don't know what I'd take off as the thing. Oh. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. They all I'll take off Weaver's yeah. song for now, I guess. I'm not gonna need them while I'm just kinda cruising around. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so, um, what happens in the lore of City of Heroes is that there is an ancient, um, forgotten god mm -hmm. that, in the lore of, do you remember there's a, a villain group called the Banished Pantheon? Yep. So, when that pantheon was being banished, this last god was too small at that point to be noticed. Um, it was a very tiny god when the rest of them were getting their asses kicked. Mm -hmm. But... I, I know you I know you probably mean not much power, but I like to... I'm imagining literally just too small to be noticed. Like, physically. Yeah. Oh, I should have put on the stupid shit. Oh. Brings me shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
Next bench. Yeah, next bench. Next bench. Anyway. So, in the absence of all of the other banished gods, this one begins to, you know, have the capacity to grow bigger. Right, And... Yeah. It eventually becomes uh, a god of, like, hate and death and darkness and, you know, blah, 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 standard, you know, evil old god shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then the Romans... Did it ask? Yeah, there it is. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's some money. Um... The Romans manage to find it and contain it, but then they don't... They don't have a clue what to do with it after that. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh. New area? New area. It's this... I, I believe this is the last... Last new zone. And we might not be able to access any of it. <laughs> well, it's a nice sneak preview, at least. Yeah, we know it's here now. I'm guessing those other two friends lower on the map are also in this area. They're probably in the same sub-area. Yeah. So anyway, um, the Romans find it and contain it within an idol, and then they don't really know what to do with it mm. until the player character comes back from, the, you know, modern day, goes into mm -hmm. ancient Rome, and is like, hey... Y'all need to just put that in a boat and sail it that way. <laughs> and sure enough, they do. And the uh, the vessel of Mott, it is the god Mott, uh, mm. ends up in Rhode Island because that is where it needs to be. Ah, okay. Amazing. It's it's very silly. <laughs> So, is that spelled M-O-T? M-O-T. Okay, I was I was a little bit confused because there's an Egyptian god named Mott, but it's spelled M-A-A-T. No, M-O-T. Okay. I don't know if I've ever gone into it, but there was a lot of really interesting stuff that they were planning to do that they just never got the chance. Mm. And I'm kind of disappointed about it. Um... Yeah, that's that's the worst part about like a long-running story game like City of getting cancelled. Or shut Whoa. down, or whatever the right word is. Oh, Big Fleet. Ah, I don't remember him. Ah! Well. Because there's stuff like, um... The, uh, the big mascot, Statesman, was mm. killed off shortly mm. before the game was killed off. Yeah. Um, and what they had planned to do, the last major event that happens in the game is that you totally, completely defeat Praetoria. Um, oh. Which is, you know, the, the evil okay. mirror world. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, and then you, like, you kill Tyrant, you save the place and all that? You don't kill Tyrant, you capture him. And he oh. goes into Vanguard custody and is basically suppressed. Mm. Is there something over here? What is this? Yep, there's a thing there. So he gets brought into custody and is basically, you know, in jail for turbo war crimes. Of course. Until the Vanguard is like, hey, people don't, they don't know that Statesman is dead. And if he, you know, given that this big um, uh... alien invasion is coming, we don't really want them to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Tyrant pose as Statesman. And that's how he'll earn, like, his redemption and his freedom and all that. And the okay. idea... Well, the idea was that, like, he, like, he wasn't... Tyrant wasn't a terrible person. He was just 
very shades of gray. And like mm -hmm. now that Praetoria was had been lost, he kind of just didn't have any fight left in him. Mm -hmm. Um so he was he was gonna go along with it with you know, a hidden caveat that God damn it, big fleet, big fleet, big fleet, big fleet. <laughs> there was, uh, his hidden angle in it was that he was looking for a place to die. Mm. His whole angle was that he wanted to find a situation where he could die heroically, like he feels he was supposed to. Right. And he just couldn't ever, he just can't. He just can't find a means to do it. There we go. Because he's so strong. <laughs> And I thought that was really interesting to have Tyrant take over, but he's like borderline suicidal. Yeah, I mean, it's. There's definitely a lot of potential there. I hear an egg. I don't think I want to hear an egg, but I hear it. Whoop! they were planning to do stuff where, like, um, um, the Vanguard, which is basically, you know, the setting equivalent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, yeah. it turns out the Vanguard was actually a plan by the upcoming villains to weaken Earth rather than strengthen it. Um, by basically handing over control of their strongest military. But, then, because, you know, the Earth's military can't really handle that, what ends up happening was the Praetorian military was going to come in and defend Earth at that point from the Vanguard. Where is this egg? All right. Yeah, it sounded like it could have been really interesting. Yeah. I cannot find the stupid egg. Whatever. Maybe it's an up and around thing. Get out of here, giant flea. Get out of here, giant flea. Yeah, I got flea strats. Flea strats. Check out, check out those sick flea strats. Oh, you should hey, not have come down to my level. There's Geo stuck in the sides of that floating platform and they won't even let you pull it out. Here? Yeah, look. There's like Geo embedded in it. I don't know if that's Geo or like... Bug carcass. Honestly, I'm assuming they're the same thing. Uh, I I have the idea that Geo is like printed money. Hmm. Cause it looks more metallic. Yeah, yeah, that's true. What is this? What is this? That's a big guy in the background. Click slash. Click slash. Quick slash. What does click I'm slash done. do? There it is. Born from imperfect discarded nails that have been fused together, the nails still long to be wielded. Allows the bear Oh, you to would slash. love that. Hmm. The problem is that, that. What do you What do you swap out for it? Yeah, I have. I've got a pretty decent build right now. I I, I think. Yeah. Um. How do I get to the friend over there? Oh, is there a thing? Yeah, there's a thing up there I haven't explored. Oh. So, up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, maybe that one just needs to wait until we get to B-Town properly. Mm, probably. Yeah, there's, a, there's one of the things I couldn't oh, pass okay. before. Zoop. Well, that's a fight. Yep, that's a fight. This is a fight waiting to happen. Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, is, there, ready? is there a bench? Uh, I'm going to run to that bench really quick. 